Okay, we're in the cab of number seven, Flynn. A quick tour of the cab. Up in the corner here, we've got the Ford and reverse gear lever. You'll notice the numbers on the side there. That's actually individual gearing. Uh, they usually mainly use two, but uh, three and four can give you higher um, acceleration or higher speed, and it also makes it a lot smoother when you shut off. Um, there's also a horn on the end of that, but it's just a basic gear stick off of like a JCB or something. Down here, power handle, push forward to apply power, pull back, that's in shut off mode. Um, we're on to go remote. Down here towards the bottom of the floor, it's a handbrake. Could be mounted anywhere else, that's a, a not hydraulic, it's caliper onto a disc, but it's actually connected via a wire rather than any sort of hydraulics. Come round to the cab controls, water temperature on the side. Nice big speedo in the middle. Left hand side, temperature warning light, engine oil pressure warning light, charging warning light, horn pipe press, headlight on and off, rear and front, cab light on and off, ignition, red light on the handbrake, transmission oil temperature, transmission oil pressure. And then right in front, straight air brake, just like we have on ours. Uh, works exactly the same. Works actually a caliper brake on this engine as the braking for the engine and tread brakes on the coaches. And it's obviously all set up to run with the coaches, just the same as it would be on our railway. And just down the side there, there's a fire extinguisher. And up the top is your main resin train brake. This difference on here is it's actually now it's been held on the handbrake. Zero is actually off. Uh, and the brakes on the train are all released. But um, as soon as you put air pressure in, like I'm doing now, that brake's coming on. So that's the inside of the cab. Right. Getting up to eight mile an hour. Okay, and Matthew is now going to shut straight off. And as you can see, still coasting, still coasting, still coasting until Matthew puts the brakes on. Right, now we'll try second, we'll try... Okay, and that was in, because this is geared, it's got gears on it, but we'll come to that later on. Gonna go back again. Okay. Shutting off again. Just a straight shut off, down to nothing. No brakes, and now he's just braking to a stand. Nice and gently. Right, we'll... we'll okay. Select, He's uh, selecting now gear number... Three. Three. Which is although a bit higher gearing. Higher gearing, which makes things yeah. smoother. Same principle again. Getting up to about eight mile an hour. And shutting off. And we coast even further now because the gearing is poor. And we're now still coasting and he's braking. He's put a better brake in to stop now. Okay, back into neutral, right. Do the same again, and this time, demonstrate a dead, demonstrate, man. a dead, man's, effect. Demonstrate a dead man's effect. He's got it in reverse at the moment, so we're just reversing back. Right, what he's gonna do now is go, go into forward, go up, and he's gonna knock it into neutral by accident. And you'll, so, fair turn of speed. Now just knock it into neutral, here we go. And we're rolling like a good, and we've gotta stop it on the brake. No sudden stopping, and that's on the brake we suddenly stop. No nothing. And the dead man's could be linked into that to either have the engine switched off and brakes come in, or just that, going to neutral. Just in tick over speed, and this you? is, yeah, where he's got it now, it's just in tick over speed, and it will creep like the other two, but there's plenty of play in it. Look, he's just operating the brake to slow us down, to stop it for us, Matthew. Look, he stopped, and. We've stopped, Wait. brakes off again, and away we go again. Similar to the other drive, but I can't, I can't, it's a bit difficult in video but to estimate the um, freedom. Okay, Matthew's just reversing back now down, this is a quite a steep gradient with a bit of curve on it. He's just reversing the train back, he's got nine coaches on, albeit empty. He's still in what we call third gear on the uh, Ford Reverse, which is 
probably what we would want for our railway um, because you don't get so much jolling when you shut off although there's no danger if you do shut off in second um, so it's just going to reverse back and then take off up the hill as in from a standing start and uh, when he gets by us I think he'll shut off and it'll coast to almost a stand because we're on uphill gradient so here we go Need a bit more heads than they normally do because it's in the th sort of third gear, but here he comes. You'll yeah, probably go up to about eight miles an hour, I should imagine. And that was no problem, no problem for that loco at all. And that's him just shutting off there. And he's just using the brake there to stop. Lovely. I think you can take that as being clear. That's fair, it really looks reasonably accurate, so... Scale it off it. As all good design engineers should never do. Patrick, on your leg. I'm going out of the way, I'm going to trip up the pit step a bit. <laughs>